Hi everybody, good morning. This new room walkthrough for bulletproof penguin. Can you harden this next server? Basically, this room is a couple of the services that we need to check: FTP, SSH, Engine X, all of that. Redis server uh, uses anything. The idea here is like, can we check and minimize the risk of exposure? So uh, and see what we can harden in this Linux system. First of all, the first thing we can do is SSH with username password they gave us. So my IP of the box for me is 94T. The password is this one. Let's do that. P3. <coughs> Sorry. And we log in. Uh, P3NGU1N. Don't tell me. Okay. It's an Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu is an Ubuntu machine. They tell us there is a file called get flags, so we can do get flags, so we can see what we are working with. So this is the flags we get. So now we, it's a venerable venerable. So our work will be all of this. So let's start. So this introduction. Let's start. The first thing they give us is. The Redis server, they give us link to think about it, to read. So the authentication in the Redis, Redis server basically is run in the require password string in Redis con file. So if we go to just do sudo vim etc Redis, Redis conf, let me shut up these things, mute this file. Uh, the password is what again is p3ngu1n. Now what we say we're looking for the string uh, required pass. Before we that, let, let's do some tests first of all. So if we want to work with the Redis CLI, we don't have Redis. So as you do, uh, apt install. Redis tools. Okay, let's do this quickly so we can test. Where is that uh, require password? Require password is it? Next uh, uh, previous. Next, where is it? I saw it now. Require pass. So that's it. So that's the command what we have here. So if we uncomment this, so we have this, this, but let's play around. What is doing here? Why is uh, taking long to do this? Hello, my friend. Where are you? Okay, the idea. I, know I can change this and put f password that we want. So let's say penguin. We playing with penguin today. So penguin. Let's do that. It's stuck for whatever reason. I don't know why. Okay. So if you go to Redis CLI. Mine's host 1010. Where's that IP again? 1010 90.40. Uh, 90.40. I can go there, but if I do any of the command, let's say get uh, the config, the get directory file, it gives me. So I'm in. So I can get things without authentication. So let's exit. Let's say, for example, now. Because I changed the file, let's restart it. As you do system, uh, this is called Ubuntu to restart the system engineer. Restart, read this, with the service, let's restart. Now we the uh, code, we can check the status. Okay, read this is running. Okay, that's fine. So let's play around. So if I do the same command and then get config get directory 
it said to me no authentication there. Now it's required. So if I exit, say minus uh, a penguin, the password we did. If I get now config, get directory, I can see it again. So now I need password. So without password, I can't. So we solve the first problem. So confirm with get flag. I can see now read this no password flag. We got it. Okay, so we solve the first problem. Now the second one is what is it? Report default community and names in SNMP agent. SNMP. Um, Uh, they give us this information. Okay, let's go there. Is it, let's do something. SCDPS AUX. Uh, grab SNP. Okay, we have the NCP here. Is use a binary. Where is it? Auto grab. Okay, run. Is running so. So the configuration, if we go to Ubuntu, we have this update, install smpd, edit a file, the conf, uh, the community string they talk about it, where they are, this one, read only community public, that's the name here. So basically this story is this, if I go to vim etc, uh, SN, snm, snm, let's see what's inside this one, this one, uh, no. SMPD conf. Now you can see this. The the first thing you see where is that community things. Uh, string. Ah, uh, this is the the community part. Read only access to if you want to the system. Uh, let's do the test again. If we want to connect to it here, we we need what what we need for SNP. SNMP is not, so we need to install it up up to get um, as you do up to install SNMP, just get the whole thing fine. Uh, don't stuck with me like you do always. Uh, what we can do um, SNMP walk, I think. SNMP walk, let's try minus, uh, SNMP walk minus version. So we have either version, well, because remember they said now on the response, SMG respond as expected to public. And then he said we are not yet. SMP version 3 is more secure, is the latest version. But remember, so as long as discussion it was that implementing SMP is the best idea, but the actual was asked to you to change the community theme in the meantime and the fullback solution into new monetary system because uh, you're not supporting yet uh, the, the latest version. So let's try with version 1. Uh, the community now we know it's public. Uh, it's written public here. So if I go to public and then my IP, this is the box that they have 10, 10, 90, 40. 90.40 and then uh, what they call that string that 1.3 point this is some kind of SMP you can see uh, uh, I did something wrong uh, What's that command again? Uh, SNP, the, this one, these numbers, the, what do they call them? Hold on a minute. So this is the, this, these things, the, the, the tree, the tree, if you want to connect to the system view include uh, the viewing, what command to use that thing? Engine ID, engine ID, level. I see minus L. Nope, I 
forget the comment. Uh, well, sometimes uh, just to t I just want to test it because we can do the public one uh, SNMP walk. Can you give us uh, a spiel? command? Let's see if we have a quick test. Uh, this this what they call it the OID. It used to fetch the ID from the MB. Okay. They hate when you Google. That's what everybody now is using. Uh, ChatGPT. So you can see you Google, you get the wrong information. That's why people are using now uh, ChatGPT because all this nonsense introduction. This is all because of search engine optimization. Uh, minus C. Okay, the comment is string we put it there, so we have the we have the comment is string. Oh, version one minus C, still wrong. Hey, okay. maybe just accept it. Minus C. Okay, minus C. Let's remove that. Uh, the last one. Okay, now I can access to the public. That is the whole point of. Uh, um, let me make this bigger. Uh, if I can. Uh, so that's the whole point. Because now, because I know the name is public, it's easy for me to access the SNP and get all the info I want. So the idea here is is changing the name. That's why he said they change the name of the community. You can say that, for example I don't know public change the name to something else like say I don't know penguin system. You can change So we don't choose common names. That's the whole the whole point of the story. And then, of course, we need to restart. Restart SNMP. S SNMP. Uh, why is not? Uh, restart. Sometimes is S start SNMP service. Now we start the same as that's the idea because by changing name now I can't access to the uh, now if I go I can't access because I changed the name. Public is the common name by default. That's why we need to change the name. So no response from there. So changing the name, it's the key. <coughs> the changing the name is the key flag, and that's why we get now the SNP flag. SNP flag public. So we remove the uh, the the obvious name of the SNP. So the idea, of course, is um, changing these names. Don't make it obvious. Okay, let's go to the next one. No engine server. Of course, they give us some information here. You can read about it. How to change NGX user? Uh, they will tell us if we, if we do this. S U D P S A U X. Uh, pipe it to grab engine. Uh, uh, engine X. We can see is running and the uh, root. You can see is root user. So now, as you do, etc. Engine X, 
it should be in the config and it's safe for top it's user as root so we can just change this one to w data as he said the same equation to run as it. so we can save this and then of course as you do systemctl or start engine x now if we grab that like we did before you can see now oh it's still it's in uh, process w data so we, we got it so we can get the flag now um, the engine as root so we have the flag now now the clear text password so now the question is what is this variability was detected according to detection method solution replace the net with protocol like SSH with support encryption connect so we know there is uh, telnet so if we do same things we can grab telnet here yeah we can see internet is running and then discussion he said uh, since the server already support SSH you need to keep Ternet so we need to remove uh, disable Ternet in addition Ternet the IT crew has identified another service uh, running in port 69 so uh, and then what is the clear test uh, in 60 let's let's what exactly we should get um, let's try SS uh, the command SS minus TUL TUL and uh, what this give us uh, this it is a service running in 69 but I don't know what uh, what is it so we know there is one thing is running in 29 and there is one running uh, in in that one let's use the ls uh, for another command that should open files of course we need as you do for these things when it's network ls uh, soft minus i ls of minus i it tell us the the there is an uh, interesting uh, tft uh, there is a service tftp here it doesn't show the port but at least we know these key things we can know here it's uh, is this remember this we need this now the init d there is a uh, what's that command again um, we can do minus i port 69 as and push it to 69 and now we can get it. there is uh, an a tftp running in 69 so the question is of course tft tftp now because it's TSTP you can guess it's as you do is not and the TFD is no they don't run the TFTP and this uh, tenet is old protocol you may see the, the the file that open because this command ls off it show you all the, the 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 service and the file open for that command on that service that's what is good so if it's run in the inner D this service Uh, it uh, uh, let's open that file vim etc no etc inet dconf now if I search for telnet okay I got it so we just need to remove the line we just command uh, command uh, sorry command this line then let's search for tftp that's the tftp you just then command it so we did command that one and then as you do system ctl or start init this service that is one that controlling uh, uh, controlling now if i go to this 69 there is no service anymore running in 69 there is no service running in 23 because both of them were stopped so if i get get flag I can get uh, the clear text service the clear text this flag no the SS crypto so here I tell you because um, 
there is uh, the remote service configure allows support wiki exchange the KXS algorithm and also is running is uh, weak encryption algorithm anything related to SSH will be here etc SS, SSH SSHD no not that SSHD uh, SS, SSH D dash config why am what the hell SSH what does that configure files for SSH why they why I'm doing uh, something wrong Vim SSH config so now that's that's the config file no not this one getting confused now where is that config file for the SSH SSH dash config uh, you know when you get uh, sometimes you get uh, totally conf uh, why not uh, no that's not that have uh, the key x not this file key x nope there's no key X here. Oh, that's the, the file, the D file. Now, we want to remove this because now it's a using um, weak algorithm. So we need to remove D file helmet group one sha one D file algorithm. That's one you can see is a DeFi Hellman Group One Show One. So you can remove this one. I don't allow it. And then the weak, uh, the weak what? Remote server, the following weak client server encryption algorithm. The cipher, we need to remove. Uh, what's the name? 3 CBC. Uh, 3 CBC, so this is this one. And then IS 28 CBC, IS. Uh, uh, IS, that's that one, IS 28 CBC, we remove this one. And then 256 IS 256 CBC. So this this next one. I'm not removing anything in the Mac. Uh, Sha, no, they're talking about. Uh, okay, we done. And then as you do system system CTL we'll start SSH. Oops, SSHD. Um, Service we restore the SSD. Let's get the flag if we get them. Uh, oh, sorry, where's the F? Let's us did we got the what's that one? The weak, the weak mark. We didn't do the weak mark. Okay, we got the weak KS. I didn't see the weak mark. We come back to it now. We got this weak cipher mark. We got the weak cipher. Now let's go back to our file. Which mark we supposed to remove? Oh, the H mark. H mark MD five ninety six MD five ninety six MD five ninety six this one MD five ninety six that's the only one uh, MD five ninety six okay so let's try again restart now get the flag 
now we got the HMAC so we'll just remove the one we don't that are not secure so and then we have that flag so okay cool now the question is anonymous FTP login reporting so let's test this yeah if we go now I can do FTP 10.10.90.40 anonymous anonymous uh, ls I can get that secret file .txt uh, why is not uh, sec secret file .txt exit cut secret file and then we have so we've been able to access this file the reason why we've been like because essence uh, uh, anonymous is uh, uh, anonymous file is uh, is is uh, is available. L uh, l let's say now if we go to FTP, uh, as you do Vim etc, you might get confused. You say where is the FTP? There is FTP users there? Not so. As you do PS UX, that's a grab FTP. See where is running grab FTP. You can see where is it. It's in the VS conf. So you can do sud vim uh, vs ftp uh, etc vs ftp f vs f etc vs conf. Now we search for anonymous. Okay, and we found it. Let's put this now. And then we'll start as usual system CTL or start VS. Now let's see if I still can access this file FTP anonymous password anonymous. No, I can't access login fail. So, so we're working. So let's get the flag. Anonymous, anonymous FTP so we got the flag so now we changed anonymous so we got there so cool uh, what's next one uh, who is this weak passwords uh, the following SSH connection were brute forced so it's Mary and one of the using weak password Change the password for report account. Remember to use hard to guess password. Discussion very 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 well. Well, okay. Let's 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 use the strong password. Let's say very well. Let's play around. Let's. Let's copy. So we don't need to type. If you want to change password, change password for Mary and Mora. As you do, pass W do uh, Mary. Uh, the new password. I retry. Passwords if you know. Let's replay around some funny numbers. Let's for now use this. Uh, Let's use uh, this password for for who? Uh, as you do, pass WD. Uh, pass WD. Uh, next one is Moonra. Uh, let's use this password. Paste. Password was updated. So we know we did the password. Then he said erase the account. So remove this because these two accounts are. We don't use them for the Joseph left or something, so we can do SU the del user jo Joseph de del user uh, test one. Now, if I get the flag, let's see if everything is correct working. Change pass, change pass, we have it. Let's get it. So we did that correctly then and use the count and use the count and use the count also we got it. 
so now let's follow the, the game now the question is the SU do permission SU do permission now we need we have more that has very uh, like root basically she is root and then uh, the idea now revoke this permission for Mora and then this user Mary need to run this as root with no password of course to ask that is always uh, use VSU do it's always a good practice to do that now let's say for Mora where is Mora Mora this one let's com comment it remove it and then the question is said Mary so we can say Mary uh, from all hostess run as user root uh, do not ask for pass the password and can run user binary ss if I'm not mistaken that's how to to do it no password and run this command user binary sss uh, control o and control l is right here control x go can we test this he said the user did what password we change uh, it, uh, user mary what password we did change before uh, Mary and Mora. Let's let me do something. Uh, let me change the password again. I forgot that password. Mary. <laughs> what password we used? Uh, let's use this. So let's test can uh, now can uh, if I switch to SU Mary now the idea now is I can Mary can write SU do user binary SS without uh, root uh, root ask let's see yeah it does work in theory it does work so so now it does work so let's go back to our account let's see if the flag working for us as you do more as you do as you do. that's as you do so it's working for us let's get that then as you do Mary, as you do Mary. And then we done then the database we have uh, two things here we're running. There's MySQL and there's radius. So if we go as you do PS X grab MySQL. MySQL is So this MySQL is running. Uh, doesn't give me the port. Where is that uh, command again? Uh, S U do S S minus T U L N. Where is that MySQL? Usually my SQL run in the 3306 and the radius is in uh, 6379. Um, 6379. So now they said uh, the switch them if the deepest port should be exposed only. The idea is like don't allow my SQL to listen from any IP. So you need to uh, only lo uh, listen from local host for security reason. So. Because now the access from a network, because you can, it's listening from everywhere. That's why you say zero zero zero. 
So what what determine if the database port should be exposed? Apply ACL or any other type of control to avoid exposing the database. After careful the IT crew notice that there is no need to expose the SP port as they are both only required locally because database is local. So the question is modify the MySQL service configuration to bind port 330. So two so it means only listen to the local port. MySQL MySQL should be ETC MySQL where are you? MySQL which one? I forgot. I forgot where is the the configuration file. Uh, is not no SQL dot the CNF really not this one. Uh, I don't think it's the CNF two. This one is just. Uh, uh, where are you, my friend? Why, oh, my SQL. SQL CNF, I think is this one. Uh, let's see the binding, you know, the port, no, the listening. Well, Conv.d. Where are you, MySQL? MySQL conf configuration file. Not CNF. Oh no, where is the... Sometimes... Uh, so it's not in the conf... DP and CNF, no, I don't think so. No, that's a socket and... Uh, so what left for us? MySQL.conf.d and then what? Not CNF. Not that one. D.CNF. I think this one, yeah. That's the file. Uh, MySQL.d uh, The port is by default 336. We're looking for the bind bind address okay if we go to bind address here this is the we, we need to change 127.0.0.1 so it doesn't listen to uh, outside uh, internet IP addresses the default port is there so we don't need to yeah we can activate it, it's not an issue, but it's a default port, so if it doesn't, it will stay the same, so but any case, let's say, as you do, systemctl, or start, mysql, let's see if we got the first one correct, get flags, port, mysql, port, mysql, so we solve that one, now, Left is the radius part. The radius, 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 radius. Modify the radius is the same thing. So we can go to as you do vem etc radius radius conf. And let's go for the bind. Search the bind. Where is the bind address for? Ah, oh, that's the bind. So we need to change this to one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. The port is default. So if we look for where is the port, the port is default. Yeah, six three seven nine. So that one doesn't change. W quit. Then let's see the system CTL. Let's start this why you are not starting Redis? Yeah, Redis service. So let's see the flag work for us. Uh, Redis, Redis port public. Redis port public. 
and then we got it and as the end you made it to the end of the room okay thank you very much thank you guys very much for this round it was nice uh, playing around with some services hope you like it please uh, guys support the channel by liking and comment thank you if you need any information or if you have better ideas or anything I appreciate it thank you very much again have a good day